What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now today's video by viewer request is what apps do I have on my iPad that I use in medical school? Now I gave you a little bit of a teaser on this one in the anatomy video of how to study for anatomy in medical school where I showed you um, my modality app that I use the uh, theme atlas for and now I'm going to go through all the apps because I finally figured out how to set up my camera so you can actually see it clearly. Now here's the video, enjoy it guys and as always enjoy your studies. Alright everyone here is my iPad that I use and uh, let's go through the apps that I got. So here, let's see, so here's the front page. So what do I got here? Here is no, I don't know, I'm not going to go through all the apps because it's kind of a waste of time. So let's say relevant to what we got going on here. But, uh, you know, keynote numbers and pages, the school gave those to me for free. They're expensive. I wouldn't normally buy them, but it's it's pretty much like PowerPoint, Excel, and uh, Microsoft Word. But if, if someone sends you one of those Microsoft files, you can open them up here. And in the rarity that someone actually uses these Mac programs, you can open them up as well and edit them and save them. So if you have a digital keyboard with your Mac, you can kind of work on the go. But that doesn't come up so much in medical school because we're not really writing um, papers. We're not really doing too much research and we're not doing too many presentations like we did in college or anytime thereafter. So, what do I like about iOS 6? Reminders. Um, if you have an iPhone and you have Siri, you can make reminders easy. So, what, what do I do? You know, hey Siri, remind me tomorrow at, you know, noon to, you know, make some flashcards for something or to drop something off. Really easy to use. Okay, so something here I got called Bookshelf. And this has various textbooks on it. And let's just go through the books I got. So here is, okay, so if you look, if you watch my videos about the various resources that I use for different, um, texts, the main one here is behavioral science. So I used high yield behavioral science by Fedem, or Fedem, Barbara Fedem. Here is the full length version of this book. Um, much larger, I don't, re I, I, I prefer the, um, just the high yield version. It was very easy to read. You can watch that video. Second book here, I got a BRS, Cell Bio and Histo. As you can see in the video, I bought the actual text version and used that, but you can use that. Um, or you can use, I, I mean, my school gave me the uh, digital version here, but I preferred to read it. Now, if you really wanted to read a textbook, here is Color Textbook of Histology. I did not prefer this one. Uh, it's by Gartner and Hyatt. It was, I mean, I thought the lectures in my school were really nice, actually. They were, I got lucky with some great lectures. So I didn't see a need to read that, and I just stuck with um, the BRS. And here is Genetics and Medicine, great book. So in my first year we take Genetics, Thompson & Thompson, excellent book in my opinion. High Yield Biostatistics, as you can see they're all downloading again because they updated to iOS 6. So if you looked I had High Yield Neuroscience and I had High Yield um, Behavioral Science. Here's High Yield uh, Biostats that we used during first year. And I think High Yield's great, but not everyone does, but it's a very thin book, it's very quick, it's to the point. So if you have no stats background, I would be careful with that one. And the last one we have here is Neuroanatomy. So if you remember when I was going through the um, high yield Neuroanatomy book, I said you need an atlas so that you can understand the various structures in the brain when they give you these sagittal cuts. You need to be able to understand what you're looking at. And this is the uh, I forgot who this was again, sorry. That's for the Haynes Atlas. And so it's the one that I would recommend. And so what's nice here in this app of called Bookshelf, you can just directly download all the books right on here. That's what I like, you just read them on the go. So next one I have here is Inkling, another book, another, excuse me, app that um, has textbooks on it. And so what do we have here? Big time books here. We got Robbins, Pathology. This is big Robbins. I showed you the printed book. Farm, Grant's Dissector, Lip Lippincott. Here's a Micron Immuno and Grant and Bates Guide to the Physical Examination. And of all these, Big Robbins is money, but I bought Big Robbins because I like to actually read it. I don't like this farm book. I'm sorry. Grant's Dissector, it's a classic. You got to have it. Lippincott's Biochem. Yeah, uh, come on. Who wants to read Lippincott's? When, when you have uh, rapid review biochemistry with the Golion, no one can touch that. Medical microbiome. Um, if you remember, I read the uh, microbiology, clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple. I preferred that one because it was much more fun to read and memorable. And Bates' Guide to the Physical Examination and History Taking. For me, these, like, with our doctoring course we take here at my school, I love that course. I mean, it's the, it's the best thing. You get to take histories. You get to do, learn how to do physical exams. It's the basics of becoming a doctor. It's great. So here, I mean, here, I'll just pick one here. Like, I'll pick Robbins. 
Oh, oh, I didn't. iOS 6 is screwing me over. I got to download everything again. Oh, hey, no, I touched you there. Yay, hold on. So, we'll show it to you. And here's how it works. So, you have like a text, and here's just chapter one. So, you can. Sorry. And then, so you guys just. It, it's the same thing as with the actual um, book. There's no difference. It's just in digital format. Absolutely no difference at all. Let's go back to the library. Okay. So there's Inkling. Inkling is great. And all these books you guys buy. Here's Kindle. Uh, if you have your Amazon Kindle, you have the books I like to read. Uh, no point in going through that. iBooks, um, my school, medical microbiology, it's taught via um, the actual lab uh, for micro has its own books that our school sends out via the iBook. And that kind of shows an important point. Should, do you have to get an iPad for medical school? No. Does it help if your school has an infrastructure to support the iPad? Absolutely. And here is LogMe and Ignition. Uh, LogMe is a free program that you can use uh, to remotely access your uh, any computer that you downloaded on that's yours. And by this app, I can control my computer via my iPad, and I like that. So here's Gunner Training. Uh, if you guys don't know about Gunner Training, check it out. It's a website. Um, it's, just, it's, got a, it's a paid subscription, but in essence, what Gunner Training is, and I can just show, oh, actually, I'll show it to you later, but uh, what Gunner Training is, is um, it's pretty much like they, they took first aid and broke it down and just like rewrote it all and incorporated some other content, and then they just create flashcards to ask you, and you can monitor your learning. So it's pretty much like an interactive first aid in my never humble and biased opinion, but I like it. It's my school recommends it. So US only Q Bank, gotta have Q Bank on the go. I annotate. Now I wonder what embarrassing notes I have on here. Um, oh good, nothing embarrassing. Okay, oh okay, here's like a farm sim hand notes, that's fine. Okay. So if you okay, well, actually this is great to have on here. Um, so if you are bringing up PDFs of your lecture notes, a lot of people in my school I print out my PDFs and write on them by hand, but a lot of people will use I annotate. And so if you have a PDF, you can do the following. You can underline, you can highlight, you can circle, you can highlight in different colors, you can write little annotations and notes, and you can make little symbols. So it's, it's pretty much just like writing on paper with pencil, but you're doing it digitally with I annotate. I annotate, it's not free, but it's in my opinion, and I guess my school's opinion as well, the best app we have. So what's a huge app I support is Dropbox. I mean, you can access all your files on the go, and you get a fair amount of gigabytes for free. Um, let's see, anything else critical? Okay, anatomy. We got to talk here. Pocket. Okay, so we'll start with my favorite first. We'll go to modality. Okay, and within modality, let me go to my library. Sorry, I was showing. Okay, so within modality, you can buy more things if you enter the modality body store. This app to me is what saved me in anatomy. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Let's bring this up. So modality is geared towards the medical student. So here's a theme atlas, the one I was telling you about. It's an amazing atlas. Here's Netter's flashcards, anatomy on the go by theme. Uh, Netter's histo flashcards, which I'll show you. And there's a head and neck, musculoskeletal, Moore's, Clements. It's, it's an amazing, um, library they have here of medical content. So let's show you the ones that I have. And my favorite here is the theme atlas. Theme is the people here. Um, and so let's just pick one at random. I don't like abdomen. And uh, and look, they have neuroanatomy as well. So don't worry about it if you don't have a good atlas. Um, this to me is worth all the money that it costs. So let's just pick something kind of randomly here. And so what's great about this? So say you're studying the GI, you're studying the abdomen, and you want to test yourself. Okay, what's this? Is that greater momentum? Boom, it's greater momentum. I even practiced that. I actually know something. Look at that. And then, you know, you have a transverse colon here. And so it's a nice way that if you looked at netters, if you watched my video on how to study for anatomy, if you look at netters, it just has everything labeled. But the nice thing about theme, the pictures, like in netters, absolutely beautifully drawn. And um, here you can kind of quiz yourself, and that's what I did every night. And what else did I have here aside from Theme Atlas that I, I would give five stars to if I could? And Netter's flashcards. So let's just do like SIN systems. And this is like this is what I was saying when I was talking about the importance of looking at slides in Histo. Aside from Histo time, this is just one of them. Let's just pick the upper upper digestive system. So eh, let's pick. Some, I don't like this. So it's kind of lame. Let's pick something a little more fun. Where's respiratory? There it is. Okay, I like respiratory. And let's pick here. Okay, so. 
what's cool here? here what we're we looking at pulmonary alveoli, right? So on the bottom here is a Nettern drawn image to help you just get the concept. Nothing in the world looks like that, right? But here is an actual true slide from a patient. You know, someone's biopsy, you can look at the pulmonary alveoli. And then you can just click on the, again, alveolar dust cell, type two pneumocyte, and then there's actual lumen of the pulmonary alveolus. So the whole point here is, and you can just look at my hearing again, and then so you can actually understand what these look like. These are the slides I was mentioning for histo that you have to be extremely comfortable looking at. You should be able to look at this and say, oh, that's an alveoli, no question asked. Because in second year path, there will be lots of weird things you'll see around this and you gotta figure out what's going on. So these are the two um, apps here, or little books I have here in modality. I would highly recommend these two, uh, much more the uh, theme atlas. And then here, I have to rotate this for you, sorry. And I'll double size it, which makes it blurry, but that's life, but you can see it. So here's anatomy. Um, I think, I don't know how I got this. I think it was free via um, an Hippocrates download, but it's exactly the same thing as, uh, so let's just go on abdomen again, so you can see the same, it's the same thing, nothing's really changed, it's this, pictures in my opinion are not as nice, look a little faker, but, um, and it, it's not designed for the iPad, which is unfortunate, but it's the same thing as Theme Atlas, but um, it's a different company, or it's a different manufacturer. I don't like it as much, I wouldn't recommend it so much, I think I got it for free, which is why I kept it on here. Now, pocket body. I got this one for free. Being an anatomy person who loves anatomy, you would think this is a great app. A lot of people love this app. Me, I dislike it, and <laughs> here's why. Look at it, it looks weird, right? And there's pec major, yeah, but I don't know. Something about, the whole point here is, okay, it's 3D, and I can layer like this and go through, and I can, um, and I can look at various positions and like zoom up around. That's great, but I don't know, something about it I just didn't like. A lot of my classmates absolutely loved it. Let's go anterior. A lot of my classmates absolutely loved it, and great. But if you like it, here's what, what it comes with. You can go through layers, and everything is labeled for you, okay? So here's another book, or here's another app for anatomy. This one's called Pocket Body. So we covered Pocket Body. I don't like it as much, but some people do. To me, it's a little bit too digital. Uh, it's not, well, it's not beautiful drawings. Clement's kind of like that. And uh, Pocket Brain. So we talked, kind of a weird picture. So we talked about, you gotta know your brain, right? So let's go through layers again, just like Pocket Body. You have layers you can go through and you can look at cross sections. Cross sections are money. You need to be able to look at a cross section and be able to identify. This is, again, this is just like Theme Atlas. Little pin button things you push and it tells you what you're looking at. Highly recommended by me. So big things, modality with theme and pocket brain um, 3D. This neuroanatomy, it's a different thing you have to have a subscription to. And that's about it as to the apps that I have. Not a ton, but enough to learn, and it's enough to be critical. Oddly enough, second year, not that many apps that I use. First year, as you can see, I used many. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the medical apps I have on my iPad. If you have any questions or comments or any kind of suggestions you have for the apps that you use, leave them in the description below, send me a message, whatever you like, and as always, enjoy your studies.